Good morning, Gary Lutro. From the WCA TTV studio, I'm Catherine Heasley alongside Alexandria Potter, and these are your morning announcements. Attention all freshmen and sophomores. It is time to elect class officers for the 2017-2018 school year. If you are interested in running for class president, vice president, secretary, or treasurer for the upcoming school year, please pick up a class officer's candidate form and a requirements and duties sheet outside of Ms. Suter's room, S209, or outside of Ms. Feeder's room, B210. All forms are due to either Ms. Suter or Ms. Feeder by the end of the day, Monday, September 25th. Help make a difference next school year. Underclass pictures will be taken on Thursday, September 21st during Social Studies class. If you do not have a Social Studies class, please report to the auditorium during a study hall or immediately after your lunch. Order forms will be distributed during homeroom the week of September 18th, but you can also access it online and on the Senior High page. Mass vision screenings will be held next week in room C211. Students will be scheduled by grades. Monday, September 18th for seniors, Tuesday, September 19th for juniors, and Wednesday, September 20th for sophomores. Passes will be handed out during homeroom the morning of the exams. Please keep passes with you throughout the day and bring them with you to your screening. Testing will take place during English classes. Students should report to their class first and then proceed to C211 with their teacher. Please remember to wear your contacts or glasses for your screening. Auditions for this year's fall play will be on Tuesday, September 19th and Wednesday, September 20th from 3.30 to 5.30 in the Senior High Choir Room. If you are interested in this auditioning, please sign up on the, on the sign-up sheet outside of Mr. Crack's room on, this, on the theater board. You only need to be there for one of the days. If you have any questions or concerns, please email Ms. Richards. Attention seniors, if you have not yet had your picture taken by Timeless Expressions for the 2018 yearbook, there will be a makeup day on Wednesday, September 20th. You receive a pass in homeroom with your assigned date and time. This will be your final chance to be photographed for the yearbook. Your class office officers are partnering with Chick-fil-A to fundraise. To help us, all you need to do is save your Chick-fil-A receipts and put them in one of the three boxes located throughout the high school. The boxes are located in Ms. Feeder's room, C210, Mrs. Suter's room, S209, and the high school cafeteria. Your receipts will help us in funding various events through the school year. Thank you in advance for your help. Mrs. Albright will be collecting the $16 test fee for sophomores interested in taking the PSAT during seminar and homeroom period on Thursday, September 21st. This fee must be in check form made out to GLSD. While the ASVAB is the preferred op option for sophomores, any student wishing to take the PSAT instead must prepay and register on September 21st with Mrs. Albright in the 910 office. The Greater Lee Trobe Senior and Junior High Student Councils are working with those at Penn Trafford to collect funds for schools that were damaged in recent hurricanes. Donations will be collected at all gates at Lake Trobe Memorial Stadium before the game on Friday, September 22nd. Let's work together to help rebuild their schools. Link Crew is sponsoring a tailgate at Memorial Stadium for the entire freshman class before the home football game on Friday, September 22nd from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. We will have food, music, lawn games, and a lot of fun before the game. There is no cost to attend. All freshmen will be able to attend the tailgate and stay for the game for free. The den theme for the game is USA, so be sure to wear your red, white, and blue. Link crew needs to get a count of how many people plan to attend, so please RSVP to your link leader by Sunday, September 17th. An all-service academy admissions seminar will be held on October 17th at Connellsville Area Senior High School for freshmen through seniors. All military academies will be represented, as well as the IUP ROTC and the PA National Guard Officer Candidate School. Please stop by the 11th 12th grade student waiting area for more detailed information. Congratulations to this year's National Honor Society officers, President Jason Starr, Vice President Alexandria Potter, Secretary Madison Cornetis, and Treasurer Lydia Daly. Officers are asked to stop by Mrs. Balco's room. Do you want to make a difference in your local community? Want to be a part of a national movement across America? Learn to be a great leader while making a real impact through Chick-fil-A Leader Academy. Join over 18,000 students in 600 other high schools nationwide in a leadership program focused on impact through action. Go to chickfilaleaderacademy.com apply 
who apply now for a spot in Chick-fil-A Leader Academy at Greater Lake Trobe this year. 30 Greater Lake Trobe students in grades 9 through 12 will be selected for the program. If you participated last year, you are not eligible this year to participate. The deadline to apply is Friday, September 22nd. See Mrs. Kubis in H108 with any questions. Now here's Devin Watson with the sports report. Good morning, Greg Trobe. Time to hear about your daily sports report. The football team visits Kiski Area High School at 7 p.m. tonight. The den theme is PJ Night. Over the weekend, the girls' volleyball team will visit Derry. The cross-country team will take on Kiski at Northmoreland Park. And the boys' soccer team is home as, as they take on Penn Trafford. Also, the Steelers defeated the Cleveland Browns 21-18 last weekend. The Steelers head home the, the, to their home opener against the, the Vikings this weekend. Thanks, and let's go Wildcats! that you can sign up to stay after school in the library on Tuesdays and Thursdays this year. The sign up is electronic and is available on Ms. Rebel's website and in Google Classroom. Stop in the library for more information. Library aids are needed. If you would like to work in the library during your study hall, stop in and see Ms. Rebel and pick up an application. Also, every Friday, the Library and Media Center will host a Maker Morning during seminar time. If you'd like to explore the little bits, Makey Makey, coding products, crafts, and more, be sure to stop by every Friday at 7. Duquesne University is holding a fall open house on Sunday, September 17th with registration beginning at 8 a.m. Students may register at www.duke.edu slash fall open house. Application fees are waived for seniors who apply prior to December 15th. Now here's Emily Weaver with the weather. Thanks, Kethry. Good morning, Wildcats, and, a and get ready for a warm, sunny, and beautiful weekend. Today we will have a high of 75 and a low of 56, partially cloudy skies. So for all you fans coming for, to the game tonight, you might want to bring a sweatshirt. It'll be a chilly fall football game. Heading into the weekend, Saturday, we will have a high of 78 and a low of 59 with mostly sunny skies. And we will wrap up the weekend on Sunday with a high of 80 and a low of 57 with sunny skies. Get out this weekend and enjoy this beautiful summer weather while it is still here. That's all for weather. Back to you. Thanks, Emily. Excella Health will be here today during all lunches with some job opportunities. Stop by and see them for more information. In addition, California University of Pennsylvania will be here during lunches on Monday, September 18th. The athletic department is looking for someone to announce the girls' soccer games. If you're interested in this paid position, please see Mr. Mears as soon as possible. All students are encouraged to check out the club fair today in the Commons area during all lunches. For WCAT-TV, this has been Alexandria Potter and Catherine Heasley. Thanks for watching and have a great day.